video, I'll be demonstrating how to put a shoulder rest on the violin. Sometimes it can be very easy to get confused which direction it goes, and you know when you put it up that it's not right. So I'm just going to kind of help you out on how to put the shoulder rest on the violin. So the shoulder rest that I use is a Kuhn Bravo. I like it because of the maple wood here underneath. It helps with the instrument to resonate the sound. And um, normally a Kuhn just has the black uh, cushy part here and like plastic, you can get one with plastic on the bottom. And uh, you have your legs here, so you know what I'm talking about when I demonstrate how to put it on. These are your legs here, okay? And as you see, the shoulder rest has this spot here, kind of a groove. That's where your shoulder is actually going to fit into, right there, okay? So what you want to do is just take your violin and kind of have it like this towards you when you put your shoulder rest on, okay? And you want to think about it, okay, where does my shoulder go when I put the violin up? And you want that part, the groove of the shoulder rest, to go on that side of the violin, okay? So where your violin is going to sit on your shoulder, all right? And then what you do is you actually put on one side of the shoulder rest first, and you make sure that those legs are snug right on there, okay? Then you do your other side, and you same thing, just make sure they're snug. And what you want to do is just kind of push it a little bit um, towards the scroll, basically, uh, to help secure it. Because if it's not tight, if it's not snug on there, it's going to fall off. Uh, so you want to make sure it's snug, okay? Now, sometimes coons fall off a little bit uh, with my students, and I'll show you why. Something to just check out. Make sure that the, your little screws here on the shoulder rest, right here and right here, are tightened all the way, righty-tighty, and that they're not loose. If they're loose, it's going to make the shoulder rest loose, and then you won't have such a snug fit, okay? So I'll demonstrate it again. You really want to hold on to the, the bump part of the shoulder rest. Like I said, we have this groove. You like my technical terms? Groove and bump, <laughs> okay? So <laughs> you want to hold on to the bump with your right hand. Put your, sh your violin up like this so the back of the violin is facing you. Put the groove on first. Make sure the legs are snug, and then go ahead and put the other legs on, okay? Make sure everything's nice and snug. And then go ahead and check that it feels comfortable for you. So put it on, put the violin up for your violin hold, put your shoulder rest on, and then test out the violin hold. Make sure that the height is good for you. Now, if you have somebody helping you out, or if you're a teacher with students, how do you know what is the right height? Well, you want to make sure your neck is straight up and down. You don't want to be tilting this way, and you obviously don't want to be tilting this way, okay? You want to make sure your neck is straight up and down. So a lot of times what I do when I check people to make sure that their shoulder rest is in the right spot, I actually look at the back of their neck. So if, if they have long hair, I pull their hair up and actually look at the back of the neck while I have them hold the instrument. That way I can see really truly what's going on. Is the neck straight up and down or is it tilted, okay? Now, if you find that your neck is tilting, what you want to do is adjust the height of the legs, okay? So you're going to have to do a righty-tighty to make a leg higher, or a lefty-loosey to make a leg lower. And then just, you know, adjust what you need to, and make sure you have a really good snug fit. You're able to hold the violin without your left hand. And then, when you put your shoulder rest away, when you take off the shoulder rest, you just kind of slide it off like this very easily. When you put your shoulder rest away, just make sure that these guys aren't spinning around because then you will lose that perfect fit that you had and you'll have to end up adjusting or maybe you'll feel like something's not right. So just as a time saver, make sure that these guys are not spinning around and when you do put them away, that your legs always stay in the same place, just so you can not have to adjust them every time you come to put that shoulder rest on, okay? So again, I'll show you one more time. You just put on, you hold on to the bump, put your groove on first, and then slide on the other side, okay? now. If you want to put it on the other way too, that's fine. Whatever you feel comfortable with, but that's just a starting point for you to get going on getting that shoulder rest on there, okay? So enjoy, have fun practicing with your shoulder rest, and until I see you again in another video or online training, remember, be true, be you.